Both starting the safe lanes here. It does feel like that hurts the AM a lot more though, because you are almost always going to go for that Battle Fury build up. And any stall in that just falls out your farm, although Hecker's always in the line of danger there. <laughs> Popping it here from Sweden, strong and lays, just not getting given a, a break here from these guys. And get the healing ward out here from the jug. Really relying on trying to survive with it, but now the toss back onto Stinger. It'll be fine to cook you away, but the avalanche is going to be there. And they really want the kill, but Stinger got very far up. And now Sweden, strong is the one in danger. They'll turn around and man fight this one out for K1. Going to spin up and then. <laughs> <laughs> gonna buy a bit of that, but they can you all you do have sweden strong from navi actually showing up but he doesn't have his puck from no one so i'm gonna be able to really get much maybe looking to deny the power run at the very least does get lucky Dyer's middle tower is under attack what strong he's screwing up he'll make a walk back down towards the bot lane uh, he it out. strong he'll go for a toss up but I think he has quite enough damage to secure the kill on his own. In fact, now into the mid lane they go. No one. He does commit a coil onto the Konka. Sweden Strong does make his way over as well, but doesn't have Toss available to toss him out and break the coil. They are still going to try and get the kill, though, here onto Chris Luck. The nice toss back into the tier 1 tower. Chris Luck eventually going to get... Hookies forward, Lace will happily go for the fight now as Chris Luck doesn't realize he's completely surrounded. Eventually he will fight out the hard way as the boat. It does fly in, but how does he get out of this one? He's been controlled up for so long. They bring it more hit through. Not gonna matter. The curse will walk out the Venno. Chris Luck, he may have done himself a good job with this poison over though as solo and no one are ticking out. In fact, they've even found Lace the Death Prophet. Solo. We're trying to run and set to his own death. Trying to protect no one, but he's gonna drop. So we has been killed. They launch out, they found Whisper again. They want the Venom down first. Keep in mind there's no poison over up anyway, so it's on cooldown right now and sweet and strong. Knows that he's gone a little bit too far here. Navi trying to back their way out, but no one. He gets caught out here on the park. He's got face shift up, but the echo slam immediately committed by the Jira. The orb is just, you might just find them talking to win the Wyvern for their trouble. East Coast. Oda, one of the Wyvern. Gonna be solo gone. <laughs> Avalanche is out, they do it. This fight goes to That Chris Luck now, it's like, never mind. Obviously, that's committed as well. Lace, dropping a fair bit of damage, but not quite enough to secure the killers. K1, pops the coil now. Does break it himself, but he's in massive danger. Sweet and strong. Takes him out. Like they even found that the Venno whispers down. Stinger, oh, no. he's been left behind to boot. The only survivor is Chris Locke, and he has fallen. Oh. Blue at the top is the Jun. Radiance middle. It's gonna land on the AM. It'll blink out of there. Put the X up and go Jira. A very nice catch in the Echo Slam, and now the boats to fly out B Jun. Oh, he's been caught with his pants down. This is the Omni Slash onto Lace. Haven't looked at this for yet. I can very nice curse to set back up for solo. If they want to counter initiate. Then we'll find Gojira. K1. He might be able to paint up here on the jug. Because he has found a third. Is death no one? Woman's mate? He's going to find a Haystrew, so he should be fine to back his way up. But it's a. It's BKB up. Find no one. They just managed to. To Beast Coast. They can keep this kind of aggression up as they are going to find no one. On a fourth lane, Fisher oh, is there to lock him down, but a nice phase shift to him. He's got the needs to back out, and we'll do so within the BKB duration. This goes, that'll be enough for them. They, they forced the whole of Na'Vi to group up as a team. Down to the bot side and... Just keep it. X will be scouted out. Chris Luck will get caught by the Dream Call into the snap immediately with the X back. Sweet and strong with the Avalanche Toss combo and now the curse out. Solo, he's caught three of them. All the mana dream from K1 into the mana void as well. Oh, perfect setup from Na'Vi. They even found Whisper, but he does BKB up and should be able to. Sweet and strong. Still a great set of trades here for Na'Vi once again. A really nice curse set up there from Solo on the Wyvern. Finding the scan out does spot the smoke play, although 
D. Move in. A1. Radiance Courier has been killed. Double damage! I think you're gonna get caught out quite yet. So they do posture aggressively. Sweet and strong looking for the opening, but eventually he's gonna decide to just blink out of there. Look, you get caught, Chris Lock, looking for the X back, but not able to find it. Still rushing his way up to the high ground, is eventually gonna be able to find the Y, but Lace is around to try and help out if he really wants to. Solo, gonna buy a bit of time with the cold embrace, but that'll be enough for them. Navi. They'll lose the Wyvern, they'll back off as Beast Coast. They're not done yet. After Sweet and Strong, they go. Trying for the Tiny as well, and they should have it. The X is there, though. Sweet and Strong somehow still alive, just buying a bit more time. The Navi just not looking for the fight, and Beast Coast will just keep going. Points over out now. Lays forced to pop the X and try to force the fight as the buyback. Uh, there as well from Navi. Who are they aiming? We've got Trifle Whisper first from the Venom, but he's going to be KB up. d tune he'll join the fray as well. Solo already dying back immediately on the Y, but they might find the Earth Shaker, but no. Oh. Oh, Beast Coast. They just kept Whisper. There's your jump in with the Poison Nova. Lace, popping it. Fisher is there. Lock him down and take him out. Now they can certainly go for the fight. East Coast, they might force high ground once again and at least get a buyback to be committed here from the, from the Death Prophet. He lost sweet and strong. He's still picking out for this shot. It's not even an axe upgrade yet. In fact, it is. It is. Dyer's you know, tower at is under least, attack. you know, Nova's not fatal damage. So, you're not quite. damage, so you're not quite dead, but it's enough to shove him way in. As you mentioned, Mike, high ground token. I can slowly shove in a little. The curse is there, but it's really caught nothing. He's not solo, he might just go down for this. It's locked, yeah, just moved in. Nice easy pick off for himself. There's your buyback committed by Lace now to try and force this one back their way is K1. does wow. go down a B tune. Maybe they can force the fight. Chris Luck looking for the TP up at the coil. It's gonna lock it down at Na'Vi. They will be able to punish the side of East Coast. Has been They're sticking around a bit too long. Not a bad team fight whatsoever for Na'Vi and not a bad defense. And they hold on, they prevent further losses on the high ground. And Beast Coast maybe getting a bit too... Oh god, Z-Tune gonna blink right into the tier 3. Wasn't over there, uh, Wisp gonna try and force them back. No one being all found though, Jira now with the toss back onto the Veno. The oh boy, Whisper. Might just go down, but a nice cookie to save the day. No one though, gonna follow up and secure the killers now. B-Tune right in with the snap fire, wanting a bit more, might just have him. Pump his BKB just in case. But he has secured the kill. Beast Coast, I mean, they've got to be very careful here, John. Radiance Middle Barracks Given a lot of the Radiant scanning. And it's a big swing back for the side of Navi. A set of racks to equalize it down the mid. And you are still fairly well protected in the Beast Coast with a tier 1 standing up top and tier 2 down bot. Navi aren't going to be enough to just hope that Hector can spin on top and get the Omni Slash off because Petrina is deceptively tanky. They'll take no one down, but now the curse to try and turn this one to K1. Gets an Omni onto the line of the solo. He'll give it the fly back. Still go Jira. He's gonna drop it now. K1. Manavoid is there. He's gonna go down, it seems like. But, but now VR aren't doing too bad as well. It's a lot back and forth in these fights. This real shot can set for some. It's wrong. K1 though will have his way with it, but now the coil is there for no one. 
the slot. We're going after Lace. Okay, one, two, seven. As I said, on to no one. But it's not a problem today. Will that way count? He wants to walk the south. Quick slot. Pulling rather low here to Lace. Eventually, might just drop. Even with the bow drop, it's not going to be enough. Document buyback to try and get back into this bow shaft pit. But in the meantime, K1 now. He's been left behind. He's in big, big trouble. Even with the BKB up, he's going to go down. No buyback. Big up. Trying to run his way out of the snap fire, but it doesn't seem like he'll be lucky either. Eventually, he will go down. More buybacks can be committed here from East Coast. <laughs> they try for no one but the Echo Slam. Oh, it's completely whiffed. And now in the Megas, maybe, maybe the end game if you're not careful. K1 trying to get something done here against Pichu. But Pichu's out of there. They all know one. Getting some for a while, but he's just fine as well as now the Man of Void. Back in on the Whisper. The Man of Answer, a big trouble. Should go down and eventually, no, not quite yet. Pichu on a danger now. He's gonna run and will blink away and Beast Coast. Somehow keeping the team fight going as no one. Still trying to hunt down the Venom Answer. Trying to juke and giant his way to victory as Whisper. We're trying to avoid no one. Eventually, surely dies here and does do so as no one. Not done yet. The Wind Waker is way up back to the high ground as now Sweden strong. With the toss back onto the Kulka. Chris Lott trying to try and man fight this one out. Don't try, but there's just no way to survive. That might be it. There's three heroes down with that buyback available. But Na'Vi, they're going to go for Roshan first. Have they have that open for pretty big objective free eggs on the deck here along with the cheese? So it's gonna have a, even more output from the AM, especially if they do hand it to Vichu. That blink fragment is completely obnoxious, could open up the game even more for Navi as again they maintain that lead at 11k. Lots of back and forth fights there. Oh, it's free tower. Not gonna be too much work here for Navi. Radiant structures are backs against the wall now. Literally no buybacks available for this next one. Last one for this because can't block the victory. Pass is there. Pass beat you back out. No, they got the dark. They've snapped the dream coil. They've already got K1 locked down. They've taken him out. <laughs> no way back into this team fight for two minutes. No one. He looks to put the finish on this game. Radiance top a little more forward into the fountain, but just holding them back and making sure they cannot come to defend. Navi will take the base on the Radiant side, there's just nothing to stop. There's still a T2 tower standing down to bot lane, but Navi, if they realize there's no piebacks, they could go for T4 towers, but it doesn't feel like they want to. They'll build the old fashioned way and just go through the bot lane. On solo as well, trying to get that movement down. Not too much time left in the XL. Then be mainly a V-Tree doing the heavy lifting. We'll see if they can get something done. Gojiro, Gojiro still has that slam, but Abby's not giving them any clean angles for the big slams anymore. Absolutely not. Great tower. Drop is now the toss back again. Sweden drop right into the coil, but the Echo Slam being committed by Gojiro. Level miss, John, to just no damage with it. Around, around, but it's not doing the damage necessary. They've just got all the answers here. On the side of Na'Vi, and they find another. No call being made yet here from Beast Coast, but there's four down. There you go, there's the DD call now. A very back and forth game. And, but like you said, John, on the grab, it, it does kind of imply that Beast Coast had a very, very good lead. Yeah, it does. And um, you would rather the big one for some push full plays, but not going to be there quite yet. Very silent game. I mean, a lot of heroes dropping low, a little bit of back and forth onto no one, starting to get really down. I think the one combination you have is Turst plus Power Shot, so you can kind of figure out where the Cottle's charging up outside of Fog and still get some good punishment off. But you are still seeing no one build up. Eh, 2 CS lead, not the biggest in the world, but you certainly aren't stopping that Cottle from getting Where's that early yours? farm here. 
Radiant structures no one. are Having a, a very good time. Pretty alright. He's got the chain lightning through. He's just farming up as well. And oh, just getting what he wants. Oh, the boundless. The it was on cooldown. Is under attack. <laughs> Unable to cancel the TP onto K1. With that, Vichun, he'll stick around anyway. I mean, this is where he wants to play on the Monkey King and... He's had a very good landing stage so far on this Monkey King. Top of the net worth board. Dyer's Just ahead of no top. one on that Keeper of the top. Light. Radiant so far for, for the side of Na'Vi, everything seems to be going their way. Stinger. Going get a poison touch in, but didn't it? It's out onto the Monkey King. Maybe they've got Vichu, who has overextended, but a nice Jingu Mastery Balance Strike. He's still Radiant's alive, still standing his ground. God, when that's available, they are clumping around here. Down the line. Yeah, Chris Lark already being caught out here on the, uh, the Wind Ranger as he tries to get his way up. But just so much damage flying in. Already taken down. Maybe they can find Lace the Razor. And they will do so, but what have they lost for this? He's not making it out. And I don't know if K1 is either. Perfect down the strike out from Pikachu. Sticking right on target. Flybacks are incoming though. Ojira is going to try and rejoin the team fight, but they've already lost K1. They've lost Whisper now as well. Oh, the team fight. Gojira. He gets tipped here from Lace. I'm not sure what that buyback was about. I'm not sure what any of the rotations were about, quite frankly. Radiant's bottom tower was under attack. Oh, we've got to see a replay of that. I believe Gojira tossed back. Whisper time. You've got Chris Luck in the Wind Ranger, who is going into the mail term, so the damage output is going to be there. But realistically, who's starting these fights for Beast Coast? You can chain in a September Saw. There's no follow up. Gojira is miles away from a blink. You're not just going to comfortably run in here as K1 up against a Monkey King or a Razor. So the angles for these fights aren't quite there. Look at Sweden Strong. Yeah, Sweden Strong, he's just going right forward. K1! Jeez! This is the Fort Marcy just taking down the plus one on the East Coast. Oh he's not even dying yet, John. He's out of there. Oh, that's so demoralizing. Chris Rush, he's gonna try and fly back against the Keeper of the Light. No one has actually gone too far. They go way too far in the end. Take that. I mean, it, it must be very demoralizing, though, is the Blood Seeker. Have a nice little spike here as Pichu. Pichu. He's caught at Gojira once again. Poor old Gojira just trying to farm himself towards that Blink Dagger, but he's going to be going back to the graveyard for another 30 seconds. It's going to allow that, that Blink Dagger timing to come in clutch hit for Gojira. With that, Nah, they've they smoked up again. Sweden, Strong, and Lace, they just want to keep going. They got they run right into Stinger, who has not realized yet the smoke was broken. They'll thank the gank at the very least for K1, but it, it's not a great feeling for him. It's, it seems like they'll just keep going here, Na'Vi. No spells to throw it onto the Blood Seeker, but they'll take all the fun. All this catch up farm, it, it's just so important for the Pokemon Blood Seeker when he's just this far. Maintained. Nail trips back up for Chris Luck. He does have play. I think he's trying to hold on for the game. That is definitely up turn speed and strong. Oh, is there. Uh, oh, yeah. Illuminate gonna find through. Very nice flying light there from no one. And it, it's just not hard to kill a Timbersaw off when you've got a Coddle. And it's not like he's got any kind of uh, magical defense. Nothing there for him. They go for more now, they've seen Stinger, they know K1's around as well, the reactions are just not fast enough, so K1, he's still trying to run, but no one is right behind the into the Illuminate, K1, barely surviving, but not for long, the screw metal proving to be more than enough. Let's look like Beast Coast might have a rough idea, Power Shot will figure it out, but... They're very reliant on just having a jump in from Kojira. He has to get the angle perfect here if they want to contest. Try soon. Power shot will give a bit of vision, but with the Wukong's command down, it's looking a little bit too He tops them down. No messing around. Very, very hard still to try and go for as Navi will happily take the Aegis and the Roshan and the life of the Tiny. Into the Radiant Triangle, they go. Again, there's just nothing to stop them. So keep in mind, we haven't really seen a big push coming out yet with this chat. Like, nothing's happened with Solo yet.
Radiant's top he's just, yeah, he's just attack. been more than satisfied farming. Radiant structures he's got the rate packed up, he's got the mech up and running. He's pretty damn fat as a Chen, considering he's been AFK farming. And, you know, his contribution in these team fights so far, Mike, has just been pressing R. Right? Like, we don't even see the creep micro all too often. It's really just coming in, hand of God, alright, you're good, I'm back to farming. And there's been no punishment, that's a sign of concern. When a Chen can just AFK farm the jungle, you know you've got a few issues there. You do, John. You do. Okay, another smoke out. Oh, they're gonna see Chris Lock here. No problem though. Maybe they haven't seen him. See? I run into Stinger. We'll see him, but the Dyer's early primal spring out from V Tune and it kind of just went the wrong way. Come on, bottom lane, no one is gonna show up and has done a whip spot. The future blade is up as well, but a nice TP attempt is not gonna matter. Sweet and strong. But the Aether lands up, so he's got just huge range on the dispose and off the timber and now K1 has been spotted by B tune into the boundless strike. No way out for the Bloodseeker. There's nothing he can do. Yeah, it's, it's his, his, his play options are limited. He just needs to farm for that EKV until then. He can't do much. And Navi still has really good control of the map here. Tackles are out of the focus fire, but. Sweet and strong, he, he is quite strong at the Radiance moment, he just doesn't really give a crap. Because uh, of well, the, uh, the power shot was much scarier than the actual focus fire was, and you know what, just gonna keep healing up Sweet and Strong throughout all this. Jump is free here, is dump in, with spot disposed there, hold down the timber for a little bit as the avalanche is there to try and help out, but sweet and strong, still tanking through, but eventually just finally end up dropping his whisk bus. TP, but now they want the team fight. Right back to there though, on this master to rejoin a stinger. Dropping way too low, gonna try for a TP attempt down, but won't make it. Not on the dazzle. If he comes that Marcy once again, go Jira, will be the focus target, does go down. The light. RB, it might just force high ground out of this. If you are playing with a Chen, you definitely got the push. Most is there, sweet and strong. I think I'm first kick me under Chris Lock. It's a, oh, BKB's there. Chris Lock, he'll survive. In fact, that was a tieback. Onto sweet and strong now. He won. He's all right. <laughs> to be fair, right? He is. No, 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 I don't know what you're thinking of that might be inappropriate, but I'd like you to get your mind wherever. Get it out of there, Don. Wherever it is, just get it out. Okay, one. Well, he's going to get out of here too, Don, but it looks like there's no chance of that happening. He's going to pop. Looks fun. He's going to be fine to walk out, but... You better hope your Chen's going to pick up that tasty creep for you. <laughs> Go again. Fight to break out. Sweet and strong is there onto the Wind Ranger, and well, it looks like that's already one gone. The Chris Luck is going to BKB up and try to survive through it, and just barely make it out. But now he's stuck with the. Oh, RB knowing this might just keep the team straight forward onto Winter this time around. They want the timber for Vichu. He's dropping rather low, but they've already found K1 on the Blunting. He's just gone onto the Tiny now. Go Jira to move in. They found Chris Luck once again. No BKB available this time around, and we with the shallow grave. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant structure. Don't they go to the tier three tower? See how fast now we get this one done. Doesn't feel like it's going to take too long. And high ground defense of Beast Coast just isn't that amazing. And they, they're kind of lacking wide attack. team fight control. They're still Radiant's sort of reliant on just rupturing a target and playing with a blink. And Navi right, realize that, just go straight. Here we go, the Dazzle's gone. Stinger is trying to get a little bit close for maybe a Poison Sting, but he's going to get punished for it as Navi. That's tier 3 tower. Oh, nice to slow down from Sweet and Strong, and now the jump is from Gojira, but K1, look at this man, Bill. Will be KB up and trying to force the fight. He's going to go back to the fountain, but he might not even make it. Oh, wait a minute. GD's fall, we've had enough. A messy, messy game here for Beast Coast. And, well, for Na'Vi, John, it was a rather clean affair from the dire end. 